Hi, this is Drew with Greenhouse Megastore. We're out on the farm today and we're going to take a look at building row covers with PVC fittings and PVC pipe. Now, real quick, a note on PVC. We sell at Greenhouse Megastore furniture grade PVC pipe and fittings. The difference here is that they're glossy and there's no writing on them. Uh, regular PVC from the hardware store has writing uh, and it has less luster. Um, some of the specialized fittings like the three-way and the four-way are only sold in furniture grade so you have to get those that way but anything that is regular grade PVC is usable as long as you don't care what it looks like in the end. Each interior supporting wall or piece will require a PVC four-way connector. The PVC four-way connector just simply slides on the end of a piece of pipe and it has a 45 degree angle on each side so you will just slide the legs in like so and that is a section of interior supporting wall. You'll need one PVC three-way connector for each end wall section of your row cover structure. I've cut each section of PVC to two feet in length and that will be the spacing between one section and the next section. So to put the next piece on we just insert it here into the four-way and this is an end wall so we'll take the three-way fitting and put it on right there and it has the same 45 degree angles for the legs it just doesn't go all the way through and then each supporting wall section supporting roof section rather is three feet in length that will make the overall width four feet and the sections are two feet so they come in two feet increments you can put as many or as few as you need so really quick, you can put together a row cover structure just out of a few fittings and some PVC. This one's four feet wide and six feet long. You could easily make it eight feet long or four feet long. Um, this particular shape, this structure would be fine if uh, you wanted to use it this way, but you could also add legs onto it to raise the entire thing up and we'll do that as well. Here we've added two foot wall sections to the structure to raise it up two feet to allow for clearance for anything you might have growing underneath. If you wanted to add a little more support to your row cover structure, you can add a lateral brace here between these wall sections using a cross piece and a small six inch piece of pipe and it will add lateral bracing so it doesn't sway so much. This is a cross connector. You can use it to connect the sidewall sections of the structure together for some more bracing and it's just as simple as the other ones. You just slide it in. This is a leg section and you're going to add a six inch section of pipe so that you can go straight out and then a 45 that will go up the roof. And for this last section I'm using a four-way connector but you could also use just a normal T and you slide the pipe in and then it would terminate here in the end wall and you add your same six inch piece of pipe going up to the roof and that adds a little more structure and bracing to the whole thing. This is a PVC pipe stake. You can put it on the end of your wall sections to secure the PVC structure to the ground. You'll just take it, take the pipe and insert it in the end here and then you can just press this stake into the ground. You may need to use a hammer depending on the composition of your soil, but it will secure each leg so the structure won't move. When you're satisfied with the structure, make sure that you use PVC cement and secure all the fittings. Once you're done with your structure, you can take row cover or polyethylene film to put over the top and install snap clamps. Snap clamps are very easy to install. You just wrap the PVC pipe with the material place the clamp on top and just press. It creates a secure fixing point for any material that you snap with it. So there you have it, just a real quick and easy row cover structure that will allow you to extend your growing season. If you have any feedback, comments, or suggestions on this or other methods, let us know in the comments below.